Hello, let us uh, see the next uh, assembly language program where uh, here we are going to transfer a block of data from one external memory to another external memory. Previous session, we saw the transfer of data from one memory location to another memory location internally. So here, we will see the transfer of data from one memory location to another memory location externally. In internal memory location, we used 8-bit address. Since it is external memory location here, we will use 16-bit address. Procedure is same. We need to initialize the source address. We need to initialize the destination address. We need to initialize the counter. Source address and destination address will be of 16 bit. In internal transfer, it was of 8 bit. So here it will be of 16 bit. For our program, we have considered source address as 8100 and destination address as 8500. I repeat, we have taken source address as 8100 and destination address as 8500. Here, counter is loaded with four number of values. We are transferring four data which are present in 8100, 8101, 8102, 8103. So these four data are transferred to memory location 8500, 8501, 8502, and 8503. So that is what we are going to do here. Let us begin. So these are the four instructions used for initialization. Here, R0 is the counter. 8100 is source address. 8500 is the destination address. Let us begin. Move data pointer higher with uh, 81. Data pointer lower with R3 that is 00. So these two will load the content of DP data pointer with DPTR with 8100. 81 present in R1. 0, 0 present in R3. Then 8100 content is pointed by DPTR. Whatever content is there in 8100 is copied to accumulator. Now the data present in 8100 is in accumulator. That data which is present in accumulator has to be transferred to 8500. So R3 will be retained as it is. Only that is the value of uh, DPL. We need to change DPH. So DPH was loaded with 81. Now we have to load with 85. So that is what is being done here. 81 is changed by 85. Now DPTR is pointing to 8500. And this should be loaded with the content of accumulator. So then the content of accumulator is copied to memory location pointed by DPTR that is 8500. One data is transferred from 8100 to 8500. So we are left out with remaining three data. So next we have to transfer it from 8101 to 8501 then 8102 to 
8502 and so on. So what we do here is we just increment R3. R3 was 00. Now R3 is 01. Now repeat the process unless R0 becomes 0. So this complete process will transfer the data from 81002 8500 one by one four times because we are using four data. So this is the logic and concept here. Let us see the execution of this program using Teal software. The program that was present uh, here in this file, the same program has been uh, taken here just for execution. Now here, the program is named as two. I save the program after writing and typing the program. And then we just uh, build the target for execution. So we do not have any errors in this. Then start the session. Okay. Then whatever data we have to give here, that is uh, in memory location 8100, I should give the data. Let me consider the data as A, B, then C, then D. These four data I have given in memory location 8100. The same data has to be transferred to memory location 8500. We can see here, no data is present in 8500. It is blank. Now, if I run the program, then the data present in 8100 should be transferred to 8500. So let us run the program now. So he said, and I am running it. Run, yes, we got it. See, the data which was present in 8100 is being copied to another memory location 8500. So this is the execution of program which will transfer the data from external memory location 8100 to external memory location 8500. Thank you.